Alright, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashami, Hawashai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and great millstone who rule well. And I also want to say peace and blessings, citations to the elect. I'm Zahab, alright, um, GMS Mississippi Camp, alright, here with an, another life lesson. Today's life lesson is going to go into how we survive in this truth by a thread of mercy, man. You know, I, I could give my account, man, and my testimony. I'm only here by you. How about some how I shot? Most I, most I will. I, I, I literally see another day in this truth. What I mean is, I'm in the truth. The small little time I've been in the truth, only by the mercy of you. How about some how I shot, man? I mean, you can fast, you can pray, you can know all the breakdowns, you can study every night, and you'll be out of here tomorrow, man. All right, you can be the top guy today, and tomorrow you that brother. That every elder and every brother in GMS is rebuking, man. All right, and you can be out there talking about the earth is a goddamn rectangular and shit, man. A, a, a goddamn state floating in the middle of the uh, universe, man. All right, uh, you know, just from I'm only a, a, a toddler, infant in this truth, man. With my personal accounts, man, I can I can truly say that we only hear about the mercy you have about some how shot, man. All right, like I said, it, it, it ain't it, it's nothing special about you. As far, I mean, you know, you might be the elect. That's the only special thing about it. The only special thing about it is he called you to audition for this thing, man. All right? But it ain't, it's nothing you've done. Knowledge puff it up, man. It's, you, you ain't strong. Just when you think you're strong, the most I send a demon that's to humble you behind, man. And that's if you the elect. He'll send you a demon that, that'll that destroy you, that'll just rip you apart. And you'll be humiliated, embarrassed, ashamed. Just so the most I can show you, see, look, you ain't who you thought you were, man. All right? Why do you, why, I just get that in Corinthians real quick. Why do you think Paul said what he said? And I just get it. 2 Corinthians 12 and 3. Um, 12 and 6. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. Unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of revelation that was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the message of Satan to buffet me, unless I should be exalted above measure. So Paul is giving an account of his experience that the most I basically used Satan on him to buffet him more than likely with the sickness, man. But guess what? The Satan could buff you with his own style, man, with your own demons, man. So you can, you can have something that you're always battling to hinder you and humble you, man. All right? But ultimately, although you'll feel like 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 nothing, that's there to keep you humble in this truth, man. But with that, I'm going to close it with Titus 3 and 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, man. But by a thread of mercy, man. By the thread of mercy, you how about Shemi how about shy? Are we in this truth to this day, man? All right, but with that, I hope you brothers are edified. Did you have any closing statements? So the next lesson, Shalom.